I know, so at some point in your life, you probably, if you're a free to play player, you probably got your pity on Child. Now, don't get me wrong, he's a cool player, he's a cool teammate to have, but he's, he doesn't have the best free to play options, and that's fine. So, today I'm going to show you the, uh, the best 1.2 update free to play Child build that you can possibly get. So, yeah, this is just me drawing editing, by the way. I forgot to mention, I am trying out a new sound, new volumes, and all that, so if you. So please comment down below how how is the sound working out for everyone? I just I'm, I like to know I like to hear your feedback on that, and it might annoy you obviously because you might hear this a lot from a lot of other YouTubers, but only two percent of people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you really uh, do enjoy this, if you work, enjoyed this video and you'd like, like to see more from me, uh, you can always subscribe. You can you can feel free to unsubscribe at any point, but. It just really helps me out. I'd like to hit 200 subscribers by the end of this month, which I think we'll be able to do that. So if you want to help me out, you can always subscribe. And with that, I'll be on to the video. My child is not fully upgraded. He just, he is very underleveled compared to the world tier, world tier 6. I just went that to that today. So he's only level 70 with only 1,000 attack. But he does have decent crit rate. Very bad crit damage though, but and but however he has 75% high damage bonus which he builds. So your best weapon as a free to play is the prototype crescent. Do not use the other blacksmith weapon for him because it is only physical damage. Which I mean, if you like spamming like this, I mean that's fine. If you, if that's what you're going to use him for, then yeah, you, you could do that with bloodstained chivalry, but that's about it. So yeah, not it's got attack as its thing, which is okay. That helps benefit you everything here, but and obviously th this ability is only going to affect if you're aiming down the sights and then you hit someone and in a weak point and then you can switch to your melee stance. That's probably going to buff your damage the most. Artifacts, I've not got mine leveled up at all really. However, four piece heart of depth, best best slot for him. I would not recommend anything else actually I mean you you could go no two piece noblesse two piece glad like like the previous builds for him but apart from that it you could you could do that but I recommend heart of death if you really wanted to excel as a DPS unit so if you're a circlet either crit rate or crit damage depends I'm only suggesting free to play weapons here so if you're going to use the if you're going to use the crescent then crit rate is probably going to benefit you the most because of his passive that he gets at level 60. Uh, your, gobl your goblet attack, you know, attack starting off, and then switch. you can do hydro damage. I don't have very good substats here, but hydro damage bonus benefits child insanely well with his melee stance. Then yeah, obviously attack, and then for the feather I've got, I got a very good feather with, with a bit of crit rate on it. And that's about it. Constellation, I'm obviously, obviously I'm free to, I, you know, I haven't spent any money on this banner, so I'm Constellation Zero. He's my first five star I got. So, talents. Um, your normal attack, if you like using them as your bow, level that up to six. You know, you can take that further. However, this increases your Riptide duration and damage. Which is very good. Uh, your melee stance. I recommend leveling up this one the most for your your biggest amount of usage. Because obviously, best best tip for damage is use only charge attacks. They really benefit you. And obviously, you, you need um to, you need to unlock child boss to get to level seven and onwards, as well as you need freedom books. And then your ultimate. You could you could you could level it up bef past six before your melee stance if you'd like to see big numbers with your ultimate. Which, I mean, I like to see big numbers, so I considered it. See, extends Riptide duration, and then Sword of Torrents. This is the big one. So, if you hit a critical hit, it detonates your Riptide and reapplies it. Which is some very big damage, which is why you should level up your normal attack as well a little bit. I've leveled mine up to four. And that's because his other his like special talent is it boosts everyone in your party's normal attack by one. Which is very nice. So, yeah, that that's a quick build for child that you could do. Now, quickly going on to team building. So, if you pulled him on the banner, 
you probably have you probably got a Baidu from the banner. Baidu works greatly with Child, and if not, if you don't have Baidu, your other great thing for applying elemental extra damage is you could use Lisa with her burst. I know everyone start moving in the comments. I do love using Lisa though, and I like to use her with Child sometimes. So yeah, you could use Lisa if you want to deal some extra elemental damage. So your two main options for damage here is Vaporize or Electro Charge. So Baidu and Lisa are great for applying the Electro Charge debuff. Fischl works as well, but I'd ra I'd rather use Baidu or Lisa because they help affect in an AoE. So I also recommend Barbara. Barbara to get the elemental resonance of water which is increases your healing you have a free barbara lying around everyone's got a free barbara you might have her at constellation 2 if you have her at constellation 2 brilliant because that, that gives you an extra 15 percent hydro damage bonus taking my child's hydro damage bonus to 90 percent as well as getting some extra healing as well great so the other elemental uh, damage you can do is vaporize. So I recommend a fire type. So Bennett, he can be good. Bennett can be very useful for proccing vaporize. I'm using Zhongling because I've used Zhongling since the start. However, if you want shields, you could use Zinyan. You could even use Amber if you really want to. I use Zhongling to help get vaporize, and also it helps me call Riptide on the barns. So this is the best. Well, free to play team because two of these characters are guaranteed. And if you pull Tartalia, you probably got a Baidu on the banner as well at the same time. So I'm just gonna do a quick show off just to end no this off. To so obviously they're, they're a bit higher level than me, like massively. But so you, you can do Baidu and then you can, you can do that. And then you just want to keep on spamming charge attacks. I do need to, to, to level up my child though. And also, I've not got any of my bursts up, so I'm just going to quickly try and get Baidu's burst. I say that, and yeah, I'm not. <laughs> but yes, you want, you want to trust going for the charge attacks. Another free to play weapon you could get is the Blackcliff Warbo in the shop. I, I'd recommend Blackcliff over Crescent, and then if you use the Gacha, then Rust, Battle Pass, you can use Viridis and Hunts as well. So I'm just going to melt down the shield a little bit, and then hopefully. There you go, I can now show Charles. So you, you can use this, and this gives you Electro Damage Bonus, which is really good for AoE, and obviously you can go into melee. So with Baidu, you, you, you're always applying Electro Charge with her uh, burst as well, if you use it in conjunction with Child, which is some absolutely insane damage. So you can use Baidu as either a DPS or a support here. I like to use my Child as both a main and sub DPS in the situation, because obviously C0 Child some people will say he's garbage, but honestly, it's just because he's got some. He's just got a, a long cooldown. He's got to know how to manage it. Most times, generally, by the time you use up his thing, the fight's normally over unless it's a boss. And then, but if it's like a boss, then normally your cooldown will be you know done and dusted by the time you're able to actually get an attack in again. So generally, it's not that bad. So. Yeah, quick guide on, on how to set up a, a child free to play build. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in another video.